What's up guys? Welcome back to another Nino tutorial by your guy Nino. All right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about Wix Photo Studio. Now this is inside of your Wix Media Manager and I actually go over Wix Media Manager in one of my previous tutorials. So check it out in the right hand corner as it comes up right now. And so I want to talk to you guys about the Wix Photo Studio. I think I love this actual photo studio and it's very helpful, especially when you need that little oomph into your photo. They have a new feature in there that I want to get started and to show you guys and talk to you guys about it. It's a pretty cool feature. So let's get started. All right, so if you wanna head on over to your add button, you can either go through your add button here to get to your Wix Studio, I mean, excuse me, to get to your Wix Media Manager by going to image, my image uploads. Okay, once you get there, then you want to upload a certain type of media. You can get that from wherever here uh, I went and explained that in the Wix Media Manager, so definitely check it out. Um, but I'm going to upload a picture real quick. Once you have the picture that you want into your Wix Media Manager, then you want to click on that photo. Once it loads up for me. <laughs> All right, here we go. So you click on this photo on the three dots here and then you go straight to crop and edit. Boom, now we're in Wix Photo Studio and this is really great, you guys. So once the photo loads up, I will show you more in detail what other, what these buttons here do, okay? So you have your crop tool, which you can crop based upon the photo okay if you want to just crop that stuff out you don't want to show so much land there you know just bring it up to right there okay nice you have a nice little view of the olive orchard okay I don't know why I picked this one but I just picked it okay don't get on me about that <laughs> all right but no so now you can go to your enhance feature okay you can auto enhance it you can use a portrait mode you can use a scenery mode or you can use an indoor mode. Um, but let's see how the auto enhance feature actually works. So give us a second. Once it actually uploads to do the enhance features, uh, I will show you guys that later. But uh, it took me a while for the enhance feature to work. so. I'm just gonna leave that alone for now, but definitely check it out. Definitely try it and see how you like it, okay? Now, you guys can choose a scenery mode, which is beautiful right now. I love the actual texture and color that it's presenting here, but you can always choose indoors, uh, which I don't like that for right now. Then you can use portrait mode. That gives it more of a defined look of, you know, if it's a person there, of their skin and of their hair but i'm going to choose scenery because this brings out the vibrance of my photo so now i'm going to go over here to filter they give you a whole bunch of color filters that you can choose from they're very nice organized and definitely get creative with this stuff you guys oh and by the way i just want to got i just want to let you guys know that all of the enhancements that you are creating to this photo right now will be saved as another photo so don't worry about your previous photo that you clicked on to crop and edit uh, don't worry guys it's not going to mess up the original file so you guys can go through here click what type of color feature you want which I don't want any of them because I just like this very gorgeous scenery right here so now we can adjust our brightness, our contrast, highlights, shadows, color, saturation, temperature, exposure, sharpness, vignette, and your grain intent, okay? So 
let's adjust the brightness a little bit I want to bring it a little bit down okay bring the contrast a little bit up just to give that more feel okay highlights I want to really uh, highlight those up a little bit shadows I want to bring them up just a tad bit all right color saturation let's see what happens if we go all the way to the right oh okay well, that, that looks pretty good and if we go all the way to the left it just takes the saturation right on out so I'm just gonna keep it a little halfway uh, temperature it's gonna be very dayish so let's you know bring the temperature up exposure not too much you don't want to expose all of this here that you have highlighted sharpness let's uh let's bring it down a little bit let's make it a little dreamy okay just like that yes vignette let's create some vignette on the sides to focus right in on that beautiful beautiful lane right here of trees um let's sharpen it up how about that just to give it that good look okay now grain this will grain your feet your picture up a little bit so that brings in the noise okay uh, the reason why I know about this guys is because I'm a photographer too but I just love the features that they have here now if you want to tint this thing up go ahead and tint it up you know you can choose the color here based upon the hex um, the hex code so definitely get fancy with that if not you can just drag this on over to wherever you want and actually make that color pop okay make that photo pop all right so now you can use this cutout feature if you want you can click auto cutout and it will remove what does it say right here it will remove and change the background of this image okay I don't want to touch this image right now but definitely check it out especially it's very useful if you have a person there and you want to cut out the background of it uh, of that person and just have that person there as a PNG file go ahead by all means do that okay and this will auto cut it based upon what the results it has in the photo now text you can add a little bit of text to your um, to your photo if you want I don't want to right now but if you do you can just click add okay and then it'll give you some options to move it forward or move it backwards based upon how many texts you have there so if you want to say this is a olive um, orchard um, like olive trees something like that okay and then you can actually select all you can change the color to different colors here um which i'll probably just change it to white okay so then once we have white and we click okay then we can actually do the styles here the same fonts that you had in your um well it looks like it's a little bit less so you have a little bit more uh a little bit less of fonts that you have compared to what you have on your regular site but hey they all have some of the basic ones here, which I like the courier. So I'm going to keep it like that. You have your alignment here, then you have your line spacing, and then your opacity. Okay, so let's bring that down just a tad bit, make it a little bit uh, uh, mysterious. Yeah, because uh, yeah, we just like that. Okay, so olive trees, just like that. All right. Once you have that, you guys want to click save because we just went through all the features here. If you want to reset or undo anything that you have done, you just click this undo button and it will actually take you back step by step of what you did on that photo. Now, if you want to reset this photo back to what you had it before, please note that once you click reset, it resets everything that you have done thus far. So make sure you're weary about that and that you make the right decision if you want to reset everything that you have done up until this point if you are done with everything you want to click here save okay and this will save it as another file once it saves as another file we'll just wait here for a second 
all right boom so we have the cut version enhanced photo and just look at the results here guys okay first off I want to get you to know that this actually puts at the end of this photo underscore edit okay just to know that that's the edited version that you have all right so let's just go ahead and press the spacebar to make this a little bit bigger so we have this nice olive trees sitting right here okay but look at the enhanced feature boom wow this brings out a lot this tells a story this is very very nice photo um just by enhancing it using wix photo studio awesome guys i love this feature so yeah that's that's all i have for today for you guys um yeah so so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial man this is very nice photo i'm sorry guys but this is definitely a nice photo but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely give it a shot. Remember, you gotta go to the three dots up here. You gotta go to crop and edit, and then you hit your photo studio just like that, okay guys? Now, if you, I didn't go over this, but if you want any type of help with this, you just click this help button right here in the right hand corner, and then this will bring up your Wix support help, okay? And this will tell you a little bit more about your photo studio and what have you. All right, if you do not want this to pop up, you just click this X button. And then if you wanna cancel out, just click cancel. All right, so if you have any questions, you guys, just drop it below. I mean, I would love to help you guys out uh, the best way I can possible. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, uh, uh. If you like this video, hit that like button down there, okay? Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next video, okay guys? Ciao.